Okay, today I'm going to do some uh, work on my door panels. Right off the bat, if you're doing a concourse car restoration, don't bother watching this. Uh, I'm not doing a concourse car restoration, but I'm trying to pretty up my door panels a little bit, and I'll figure out for sure later on exactly what I do for the interior. But, this is my starting point. I have this old... Uh, inner panel it's all kind of warped and so I, I popped off the clips and I took off the top rail here and this came out. I'll use this for a, uh, a template. Here what I'm going to try and use for a replacement uh, this is, I believe they call it uh, hardboard. It's an eighth of an inch thick. It's pretty cheap, but uh, I think it will work for an internal panel, for an inside panel for now, until I decide exactly what I'm going to do for the interior. So this is really a temporary solution, and if you're doing a concourse car, I'm sure you'd want to get uh, professional people involved to do the interior. So, if that's what you're doing, don't bother watching anymore. But if you want to see what I do, follow along. Alright. I'll hold this down and trace this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this edge here and this edge here. I got some extra here, and I'll leave some extra at the top here, fit it into the door, and then make some final adjustments to get it to fit. All right, let's cut it. Okay, I'm using a uh, just to save a saw with a fine tooth um, saw blade. You may not see it real well on the camera, but there's like a rough edge. I just take a sanding block and go over it like this. It takes all that rough stuff off. It actually makes a pretty nice edge. Alright, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to trim off the top of this just so it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay, what I've done here is I've put one screw in the bottom, got it flush with the bottom here, and pretty much flush with there. Put a clamp on to hold it in place. And I'm just going to use a marker to mark the holes for the door handles. Now if I, here's the door, <clears throat> if I, see I cut a little oversized, right there, <clears throat> I'm going to try and make a mark right there, where that one, and a mark right in there. Let's be a little tricky. And I got a little bit of a blue mark there, that'll help me, and you can see I put some blue marks there. So now let's take it off and cut those holes. Okay, I've got an inch and a quarter uh, door saw. Saw. It's the right size for my door handle. All right. I have my two door holes. I'm gonna clean those up with my sandpaper. I'm 
Okay, so I put the one screw in there, and then I've got a clamp to hold it in place, to hold the door panel in place. And let me move back a little bit so you can see. Okay, now that the door panel is in place, I got this edge lined up and this edge lined up. So I'm just going to trace over here the shape that needs to cut. And then we'll cut that uh, so it has a better fit for the door panel. Okay, there's my line. And all I need to do now is cut along that line. Okay, so I put it back on. And I'm pleased with the way it fits. A little notch there. And we've got a little notch there. This edge seems pretty good. Got a little extra there. So next up, I've got uh, this one screw here. I got the clamp and I'm going to drill the hole and put a second screw in there. And Okay, the uh, second screw is in, so I got the door panel held on with two screws right now. Next thing I need to do is I have to actually notch the door panel right about here where the latch is. So right there is where the latch is, and you can see, well you probably can't see, but it's half round, so I kind of got it. I have to kind of cut a moon shape and just mark where the latch is and then approximate from about here down to about here. I'll have to do something like this. Roughly. Let's we'll see if I can clean that up. Alright, so something approximately like this. I don't know how well that shows up, but so I gotta notch that. But the rest of it is not bad. For a temporary door, for a temporary door uh, panel, I'm pleased. Let's fit that back on the car, see if anything binds. Okay, the door is back on. This part looks good and pulls in. But this side, it binds when I close the door. And that's because we got a little bit of an edge here. So I'm gonna, it's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna have to clean up this edge a little bit. All right, so that's my line. I don't have to take off much, but I'm gonna trim that much, that little bit off. Hopefully that's enough so it doesn't bind. Let's see. Okay, we can see much better fit here. Doesn't bind. All right. There it goes. Closes.
All right, I've added this top rail. Added the top rail. Got it held on with one screw for now. But what I'll do is I'll put a couple other screws in here just to hold it in. I'm not going to use body clips because I want something a little more secure for now. I've got this top piece on now. I did some screws in here to hold it in as well as two screws over here. I've added the uh, latch, the latch and the window crank. So my temporary door panel is done.